my channel thank you so much for being here and I appreciate your time um, I hope everything is going well with you I am here today to do a review on the Asteria hair um, this is like a really popular wig that um, first went viral I guess because of um, I think it's styled by Jordan I think that's his name on Instagram he did a review on this hair and he also installed the hair in the video so that actually is one of the reasons why I wanted to get this particular wig because I don't have a wig like this. Um, so it just arrived, came in FedEx like this in one of these packagings, packages like this. And this is the bag that the hair comes in itself. It comes in like a satiny bag, it's like a drawstring. Okay, and well, there, here is the strap. I don't see... Hopefully this is an extra strap because I did pay an extra $4 for it to be sewn on. So I'm hoping this is an extra strap. So this is like one of those bands that you uh, can lay your wig with or lay your edges. It says Asteria Hair on it. Comes with two brown wig caps and this is the wig itself. So it is looking pretty long. So, what are the specs? I got a large cap that has a lot. Ooh, the hair feels so silky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, that's a good sign. So, the hair comes. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, right off the back, it is a nice silky texture. Um, I am a little, yeah. Oh, they did. So, okay. I see what they did. So, okay. Is this like a bra strap band? So, they did sew on these parts right here where I'm going to be attaching the band. So, okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah. This is what the wig is looking like right out the package. Um, it's like a natural four. But she is pre-plucked. I don't know if you can see, waiting for my camera to focus. Again, this is the hairline. Okay. So it is pre-plucked. Um, it's like, it's thick because I got a 250 density. Um, I am seeing though a lot of flyaways and split ends I'm thinking so I'm not too happy about that honestly I wanted to show you what the hair looks like like you can see some of those some of those split ends you can see them right uh, I'm paying almost $400 for a wig. I don't want to have any split ends, but yeah, the cap construction is pretty simple. So it's a frontal wig. So the frontal is at the top. Then it has two combs on either side. It has the adjust the adjustable straps, and then it has the comb in the back here, and it has like a little flap on the nape. I like how the hair feels. It has a nice a nice bounce to it. It's like bouncy, child. It's very flowy. Um, it really doesn't have the smell at all, which is good. Yeah, I am seeing some gray hairs, but I'm gonna end up um, putting a, a, a natural black rinse on this. 
but this is how it's looking it is pretty thick all the way to the ends so like it's pretty thick all the way to the ends okay so I'm gonna come back at a later date and actually try this on like once I take my hair out <laughs> and I'm going to show you how I actually place this on my head because I'm not gonna like install it completely I usually just tack down the front where my part is and then I just leave it like that have my natural edges out so that's usually what I do so I'm gonna come back and show you what it's looking like. I am now going to give you my review on the hair as well as just talk a little bit about my experience with dealing with the hair styling the hair wearing the hair out um, and talk about the specs of this wig so the specs of the wig are as follows this is a 28 inch human hair um, wig with a 250 densing cap size large color media uh, lace color medium brown construction frontal and the front with adjustable band sewed in so those are the specs of the wig and i will just talk about that real quick i have a large head like my normal size <laughs> the way my head the way my head is set up i have a big head um and then on top of that i have a lot of hair um, and then on top of that, I cannot really successfully cornrow, so I oftentimes will flat twist my hair down to get it flat as I can under my wigs. With all that being said, this does not feel like a large wig cap. I have had large wig caps before that have felt much, much more spacious in terms of what I have to work with, and this wig cap did not feel that way at all. As far as the density of the wig, I can I can believe that they actually did send me a 250 density because um, the wig is thick, like she is thick, so yes. Now, in terms of this wig being almost $400, I want to get the exact price, hold on, so give me a moment. So the exact price for this wig was $379.02. So this was basically a $400 wig. Let's just go ahead and say it's a $400 wig. This hair is not $400 worth. Um, 100% absolutely not, no. And I was a bit um, annoyed when I first opened the package and I saw all the split ends in this wig. I was a little bit honestly turned off then because I had known from my previous experience with getting a straight silky wig is that if the wig is of low quality it will show um much more uh you know blatantly just the quality of hair itself is not the best and if you're going to be charging people to you know upwards for 200 to 400 to 600 dollars uh for a wig then it needs to be of that quality so what I believe uh, this company, Asteria Hair, does is they obviously send their best wigs or their highest quality wigs to influencers. I'm not a very large influencer. I don't have a large platform. And so this wig in particular went viral because of a stylist and a well-known Instagram personality a style by Jordan. He did a review on this wig, installed it, and because of that video, the wig kind of, you know, went viral. And because of that, you can see, like, uh, uh, there has been um, quite a few reviews up on YouTube from women purchasing this wig from that video. Obviously, I was one of them. And in the video, like, Jordan didn't really go into deep or should I say great detail about the quality of the hair he just commented a couple times that the hair is bouncy and full and you know it looks nice and obviously when he installed it on the young lady it looks good on her as well and in the thumbnail picture it looks good as well um, and if you go on his Instagram and you go back to the date where he originally made the video um, the pictures look good so I obviously was like, okay, this this means good. So I watched a couple more um, reviews from other influencers as well as non-influencers. Um, and to me, I, I found a bunch of great reviews. So I went ahead and purchased the wig thinking, okay, this is like, you know, me treating myself. My birthday is this month. But when I initially purchased the wig, it was in August. Um, when I finally received the wig, took it out the packaging and I, like I like I just previously mentioned I noticed the split ends 
right away. Well, I dyed my wig, washed my wig, deep conditioned, well co-washed my wig, deep conditioned it, and then I decided to let it air dry. And then I proceeded to style my wig and the different things that I used to try to tame all of these flyaways, child. So I used two of these serums. This is the Bio Silk Silk, Silk Therapy Light. I used this and I also used the Suave Split and Rescue. These two serums to help keep the split ends as, you know, and, and, and the hair as less frizzy as possible. I guess the biggest the, 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 the biggest problem I have with this wig is it does not look like I paid $400 for this wig, right? I could have gotten the same exact exalt, the same exact result if I would have purchased um, lower price bundles and a frontal made the wig myself and I feel like I would have gotten the same thing for a, a you know a cheaper price. So I have both of these serums in my hair and it's still it's still pretty frizzy. I actually have video that I'm going to show you of how it looked once it was flat ironed and styled with these serums. This is the wig now that I have flat ironed it and I've used my bio silk therapy which always works i've been using a hot comb and flat iron and you can still see all of these split ends look at it all these split ends look at this how is this a 400 dollars wig how And they're all up here too. Like this is madness. Of course, I have the um the wax stick that I put on my part. Um, what else do I have in my hair? I have some Nairobi um, foaming wrap lotion as well. I have you know a couple pumps in it, smoothing it down, trying to keep it you know looking decent from far away you may feel like okay it looks nice but like i continue to say i do not feel like this wig is worth four hundred dollars and that's why i'm currently in the process of trying to get my money back because i am just like no like you're not gonna charge me four hundred dollars for tons and tons and tons of filler hair that you put into these wefts to try to save the long 20 inch hair for you know for later so you can make more wigs with it no you're not going to have me no you're not you have me fucked up no <laughs> so i don't have any of the baby hairs from this wig out these are my edges this right here and this is my edges so i just have my edges slicked down with this got to be glued styling gel this is the black one that i have it slicked down with this one and then I have some of this EBN New York tinted lace spray that I sprayed on you know mainly the part and the part that's going to go on my skin I have this right here um so I don't have like this whole prim uh, perimeter of it tacked down I just have my part right here in the middle tacked down so what did I use I use the bed head uh, TGI extra hold strong hairspray instead of the typical um got to be glued styling uh free spray and that's pretty much it again i just wanted to point out that i have both of these serums in my hair both both of them and i'm still getting tons of flyaways tons of uh, you know split ends going on so the hair just isn't great it's poor quality and they need to stop charging people four hundred dollars or what they should stop doing is sending these you know higher quality wigs to the influencers and then selling their paying customers uh, these low quality wigs that you can find on Amazon Prime okay and I just I just want to tell you that it's not worth it um, if you are wanting to get a long straight wig, please just go to AliExpress and try your luck with one of those hair companies because Asteria hair is not, like I said, they're just, I don't believe that they are sending the same wigs that they send influencers like Style by Jordan or whoever else to the women like me who are paying their hard or their, their hard earned money 
to buy actually buy these wigs i don't believe that they are sending us the same quality it's not worth it i don't suggest this wig. i don't recommend this wig no matter how cute it looks on me right now i don't recommend this wig especially if you are a beginner and if you're not just like hair kind of um savvy and you don't know how to pull out a, you know a flat iron and some styling products and get something to look nice you're going to really have to work with this wig in order to get it looking nice the hair is not bad it's just not worth four hundred dollars so I, on a scale from one to ten in general as a whole i would give this wig like a five on that note like i said don't mess with it don't fuck with it don't buy it I don't recommend this wig. Thank you so much for watching and be safe and take care. Bye.